Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to add the battery level that we made in the previous episode onto the HUD or the heads up display. Uh, so if you haven't already I'd recommend watching the previous video which will be linked in the description and on screen now. And if you'd like a more in-depth video on how to create the HUD check out my stamina HUD video again in the description and on screen now. I do the exact same thing and show you how to create it in this video however I explain it more in depth in the first video. So what you're going to want to do first is open up your HUD which for me is first person BP blueprints HUD there and the widget HUD there and you may already have this as I do I created it in the stamina HUD video but if you don't have one then to create one simply just go to your blueprints folder like so right click blueprint class search in a HUD click this one and hit select and you call it whatever you want but I just call mine play HUD then you want to go to the world settings over here on the right or if it isn't there just go up to window world settings and it should take you over here. Then make sure you have the game mode override here to first person game mode or third person whatever it is for you and then go down to selected game mode, HUD class, put it as player HUD or whatever you just called it. And then to create the visual side that the player is going to see we're going to go back down here to the content browser, right click, go to user interface and call it, and get a widget blueprint. And again you can call it whatever you want but I just called mine widget HUD. And again you may already have this so you don't need to create another one if you do. So now we're going to load up the widget HUD, let it load Make this full screen. And now yours may look slightly different to mine, as you may have more or less than I do, but it doesn't really matter. This is just because I still have the stamina bar here from the previous video. And so the way this is going to work is essentially the same as how we did the stamina bar. So first of all, we're going to get some text here, drag it in, make sure it's the text, not the text box. And this is where we're going to write battery or flashlight, battery level, whatever you want to call it. It doesn't matter too much battery there we go and this is just to make sure the player knows what everything on the HUD means as it may get confusing if we don't name these they might not know that the stamina is down here and the battery is up here they might think it's the other way around and remember to anchor these so they don't just move about anywhere in the widget so I'm going to do mine to the middle right here as that's where I want it to be move that there but just put it in the correct position for you so if you have it down at the bottom down here with the stamina put it on middle bottom now we're going to get the progress bar from the palette over on the left and I'm just going to be using the default look like so like it is but it's very simple to customise it, which again was covered in the stamina HUD video. So what I'm also going to be doing is changing the bar fill type down here on the right from left to right to bottom to top and then just shape the bar to be vertical like so and just have it there. Maybe And remember to anchor this to the same place as well. And just move these to where I want. And this isn't a necessary step, changing it to be Bottom to, bottom to top and having a vertical like this it's just how I want it to look on the screen so let's see how it feels by going to the percent down here perfect that's just how I want but I'm also just going to change the colour to be a nice yellow as a sort of like a fuel type thing yeah okay there we go now let's set the functionality behind it so that it all works now to do this we're going to want to create a binding so go back onto the progress bar here go down to progress hit bind and create binding now I'm going to make sure that I name it over here just so that we know what each one means as it can get very confusing very quickly if you don't name any of them. So I'm just going to call it battery level. But again, you can name it whatever you want to. So let's move this return node out here to give ourselves a bit more space. And if you remember from the last video, we stored the battery variable in the character blueprint. So mine's in the first person character, but yours again might be in the third person or whatever you called it. So let's go for the start one here. Go to cast to your character, so mine is cast to first person character like so and have as the object get a reference to get player character and just move that there then as first person character you just want to get battery or whatever you call the battery variable last time then off of the return node here we're going to want to get a float divided by a float and this is because the battery level goes up to 100, but the progress bar only goes up to 1. So we just need to simply divide the battery by 100. So let's hook up the battery in the top there, which should convert it from an integer to a float automatically. And then put 100 in the bottom, like so. So I'm just going to move this out a bit, make it look a bit nicer. So let's hit compile, close this, and test it. So as you can see, it's on the right-hand side of the screen there. If I hit F, battery level's going down. If I stop it, it stays like that hit F again, it keeps going down. And as you can see, the instrument on the left hand side of the screen is the value, and that is then represented in the progress bar on the right hand side of the screen. And so let's pick up a battery, see if it refills, and yep, it goes back up. Perfect. Let's try that again. Drain it, battery refills it, 
and then goes back up. Perfect. So that'll be it for this video. It's a much shorter one, but I've got it to do everything I wanted it to do. The batch level you can see in the top left is the integer is now representing the progress bar on the HUD. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.